I get lots and lots of comments on my Facebook page asking me for advice about makeup for school. Now, while I don't think it's a good idea to wear a lot of makeup for school, I just don't think it looks cool apart from anything else. I think a little bit of mascara, maybe tinting the lips, a little bit of blusher and covering spots is absolutely fine. So I'm going to do a look today. It's very quick, easy and natural using all drugstore products. And I have a beautiful model today whose name is Sophie and she's here with her mum. So I hope you like the look. So to start with, I'm going to use some of the Embrolis Creme Concentrate simply because Sophie's skin, it's kind of normal to dry, isn't it? It's not, yeah. it's not too dry. It's kind of normal, you're lucky. I'm just going to give you a really good moisturise. So on top of that, I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB. And this is a gel-based tinted moisturiser, really, that has lots of benefits. And it's super light and quite dewy, so it's perfect for every day and for school. You can use fingers to apply if you want. You can use a brush or you could use a sponge, whichever feels best. And just put a really thin layer, working from the centre out. And just keep it really, really light. Now obviously, if you do have blemishes and spots and things, you are going to have to use something else. You're going to have to use a concealer on top of this. So once you put a thin layer all over, you can then reach for your concealer and really depending on what your skin issues are will depend on what kind of concealer you use. Actually, before I use the concealer, I'm just going to use this illuminating tint as well because um, you have a little bit of dryness. I think it will be nice to have a little bit more shimmer and shine just on your cheek area. So this, you could just use any kind of liquid highlighter and just blend over the cheek area. Just really gives a lovely, fresh finish to the skin. And fingers is fine for this, just make sure you're really blending. If you do this before you use your concealer, then you can still do any coverage or any sort of blemish covering that you need to do on top. So obviously if you do have an oily T-zone, then don't put the illuminating, the sort of highlightery product in that area, just keep it around the outsides of the face. But if you're very dry, you can put a little bit on your nose, a little bit on top of your lips if your skin's a little bit more normal to dry. Just want it to look really, really fresh and light. The other thing actually that's great about this illuminating tint is that it has a full coverage concealer at the bottom of the tube, which is obviously really, really handy to have in your bag. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. I'm pat a little bit under Sophie's eyes, just look up for me darling, and just pat and blend. And this should stay put so it's not going to go creasy and you don't need to put tons and tons on. Even if you are dark under the eyes, just focus really on the areas where there is the darkness and don't put it all the way across because it can build up and start to look a bit cakey. And then anywhere else, if there's any redness, you can apply concealer. If you do have blemishes, then you should use something with a little bit more coverage. Something like a Vichy Derma Blend or this Sonia Kashuk, sort of more solid um, type of concealer, which just has more dense coverage. And if you did have blemishes, you could use a brush and apply onto the blemishes and blend in with that. I have got actually a video all about covering spots and acne and things so I'll link to that as well. So on to blush and I'm going to use the cream blush by Bourjois. If you have spots or blemishes in this area that you have already concealed then don't use a cream blusher you should use a powder blusher. Just powder and set the concealing that you've done and then very gently brush over super lightly with a, um, a powder. So just apply it really simply onto the apples of the cheeks and then blend out. So just keep blending. You don't really want to see where it begins and where it ends. It's a really natural flush. And the finger that you've used obviously with the product on then just use another finger, a clean one, to blend those edges in. Just like that. And if you need to, at this point, just do a little bit of powdering. So just a light translucent powder. So for eyes, obviously it's up to you. You could just do a little bit of mascara, which is probably what you normally yeah. do. Yeah. 
or you could put on a little bit of liner or a little bit of eyeshadow. I quite like this palette by um, Revlon because it has sort of really nice peachy colours and pink colours which aren't too kind of sickly but they're really pretty and they would suit a lot of skin tones. So I'm just going to dust on, this is the sort of rose colour, the sort of mid-toned warm pink. It's got a tiny little bit of sort of shimmery gold but really subtle and pretty. Just sort of evens out the, the lids and it looks nice without being too much and you could use the darker shade, the bronzy colour there if you wanted as a liner just to go along at the lash roots if you wanted a little bit of definition but without making it look like you've got tons of makeup on. These brushes I'm using actually are great. It's a little starter kit by Eco Tools, and you get five brushes. You get the powder brush that I used before, um, brows and two eyes, and it's I think it's a really good little set if you're just getting into makeup and it comes in a really nice pouch that you can wash. So I thought that was really great actually for teenagers. So next I'm gonna curl lashes. Just look down for me, Sophie. And for mascara, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Organic Mascara in black. Just look down for me. So I'm just going to put a light layer all through the top lashes. I'm not going to put too much on because um, Sophie naturally has really thick lashes. So for brows, I think just do whatever you need to do. I mean, if you can just brush them into shape. Perfect. If you have any little gaps or any little scars, you can just fill them in with a little bit of powder and just just really gently brush over. You can thicken them up and have them look as even as you can. Don't worry too much about it, but I think really avoid kind of heavy penciling and things during the day because it just looks kind of weird. <laughs> if you've got unruly brows, you could use an eyebrow gel just to set them. I'm actually going to go back in with the darker shade from the eye palette and the brow brush there and just go along the lash line again just for a little bit more definition. So for lips I think one of these Corey's lip butters are perfect because they're really beautiful colours but they go on very sheer they just give a hint of colour to the lips and they're really hydrating as well. Obviously you can just use fingers when you're applying it on yourself. I'm going to use a brush but this one is quince so it's a really beautiful kind of rose pink. Just rub your lips together. Feels nice doesn't it? Mm, really soft. Really moisturising. And then you can just apply this throughout the day and keep your lips really soft and hydrated. And the colour looks really lovely. And you don't need a lip pencil or anything. Okay, so that's the finished look. And I think it's just a really nice, fresh, easy look for school. Have a look yeah. in the mirror, Sophie. I would really wear that at school, yeah. I you really would? like it, yes. You like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Mm -hmm.